Hey everybody, it's That's A Lot Of Sodium, and I'm back here with another video. I know it has been more than a month since I have last uploaded a video, which is uh, probably something I haven't done uh, prob in, a, in a year or two, so um, it's been a pretty long time since I've gone that long without uploading. But I finally am back. Uh, I went to uh, my uh, coin store today, and... I got some stuff which is a little bit like, I don't know, like a kind of a higher level thing that I typically get. A little bit more expensive coins, um, or at least for some of them. Uh, the one that I went to get, which was a capped bus dime. And it's something that I think a lot less people have than something like a uh, silver dollar or a uh, war nickel, which is some of the other stuff that I got. So I figured I would um, show you guys that stuff. And I do intend to be uploading more often. And um, if you want to contact me again, or like if you have anything to send or anything like that, or you just have a question, um, my email is uh, in my uh, About Me page. So uh, yeah, basically I'm going to start off with this stuff. So I got two small date um, pennies just because, I don't know, I kind of like them. This one I was going to put in my folder. But I'm just going to keep it in the flip, I think. So this one is in a, a little bit better shape, uh, this one. So, yeah. I'd say this one is probably a mint state. This one, however, is, like it says, brilliant uncirculated. Um, and then here we have this 1955, and it does have doubling. Uh, you can't really see. Uh, even if I were to put the coin thing up there, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see, uh, through here that it is, uh, doubling on it. I mean, obviously not a double die obverse, but it does have, um, doubling. So, not a DDO, but it has doubling. So, it is, uh, 75 cents instead of, uh, $7,500. So, next, I got this 1974, I believe. Yeah, 1974 quarter. And the reason I got this is because uh, it's a pretty good example. And the main reason is, although you probably won't be able to see it from here, if you look here, there is a weird piece of copper that is sticking out that is not supposed to be there. So, um, pretty strange i wasn't sure and i figured it was 50 cents so i got it i don't think you'll be able to see that but if you look here you can see there is a pretty strange piece which is popping out and you can see that right in the center of the uh coin thing so uh yeah so that was pretty strange uh something that i hadn't seen before so i figured i would uh get it just because who knows um next i got four war nickels just because i am trying to get a tube of war nickels i currently only have six in the tube though um i have a few others but those are either um in books or they're just um the first one i ever found which was the first coin i ever got was uh i found it in change it was in 1944 war nickel when i was like seven um so it was just one that I didn't really know at the time what it was, but I just thought it was cool, and I kept it. And it turns out that it was something, so I keep that separately just because of the first one I ever got. So, uh, this one is a 1943S, and it is pretty nice. It's um my first S one, and it almost, like, if I saw this, and it was, like, a bigger coin, I don't know why, but it kind of has the same look as a lot of uh, fake coins do. Um, so I just thought it looked kind of interesting, and the toning on it was pretty strange, so I got that one, uh, and then this one, which is just a 1944 Denver, and I didn't have any Denvers, so I got that one. All I had was Philadelphia, and then these are just two other ones, which I do like the darker look of them. I like the really dark, kind of worn, worn nickels. I don't know why. So, two S's and one Philadelphia. And then the two big things, or the the littlest things I got, but the two most expensive, which not really super expensive, but I did get 
this. It is a very, very tiny one and a half pence. So, I mean, you can see just how thin that is. Even compared to a dime, that is a really large coin. Here's just a random dime for comparison. It is a, a lot thicker. And not only that, this is about a third the size of a dime. So, very, very tiny coin. Comically small. So, I got it for $5. It is a Queen Victoria, and it is from 1862. So, it is a younger head version. And it looks like at one point someone might have tried to put a hole in it uh, several times, but failed. So, I don't know what that was about. And then finally, I have this capped bus dime. It was really, or it was a really tough decision for me because they had an 18 or 1962 um, mint set, or not mint set. It was just a set in one of the uh, hard plastic holders, the ones with the five coins. And it was in, it was just, they were all beautifully toned coins that were all amazing. But that was $28. This was $25, and I had to decide whether or not I wanted to get that. Or I wanted to get this. Um, and I ended up going with this because this is the reason I went. And although it doesn't have a ton of detail on the back, the eagle is pretty worn. You can barely see the dot after the 10C. Uh, the eagle on the backs of the older American coins, like the really old ones, look pretty funny. Uh, like you'll see even on, like, on the Morgan dollar, they changed it because it wasn't anatomically accurate to an eagle. But if you go far enough back, uh, they they look like turkeys, which is a uh, pretty funny to me. Um, but it does have some detail on the hat, which is kind of cool. It reminds me of the uh, Stella or Stellar uh, gold dollars, so pretty interesting. And it does have the full liberty, but that's not really something you look for on a capped bust, just because if it does not have liberty, it's pretty well worn. It does have a lot of the um, diamonds around the edge. Uh, not not the, just the stars, and some of the stars do actually have some detail left up here, so that is pretty good, and then they also have these diamonds around the edge, all of them, which for me, I don't know, uh, pretty cool. Maybe a few missing up there, but pretty interesting coin, and it's not something that I really have. So when I got this stuff, I was pretty excited. Uh, so yeah, it was some pretty great stuff. And I've found a few other things since then, but I haven't really gotten much uh, in the way in the past month. So I plan to start uploading more videos, and I plan to start going to the bank more often. So yeah, uh, stay tuned, and I will be making more videos. I also decided that I would organize some of my coins, and I got uh, a lot of them organized into here. Uh, so these are just a few things, which are my grandfather's coins. They have my Morgan dollars, and I have some of my foreigns in along here. This is my Canadian stuff. This is my Asian stuff. This is my uh, South American and Caribbean stuff. And then all the way up here, I have older nickels besides more nickels. And there is my uh, V nickel, which I found, the 1889 one, which I found, uh, coin rule hunting. A while back and then there is the buffalo nickel I found so that's just stuff I found coin roll hunting and yeah that's really it uh, I did find a star note at one point in the last month but I don't know where I put it so yeah expect more videos soon I do plan on making more uh, thanks guys for not unsubscribing I actually did gain a few subscribers in that time so that was surprising typically if I go more than a week without uh, uploading a video people just start on subscribing so yeah, let's try and hit 400 uh, by the uh, by uh, next uh, fall. So, yeah. Thanks so much, guys, uh, to everyone who's watching. It means a lot to me. And, uh, yeah, so as always, like, subscribe, and have a great day.